Hey, it's Cheryl with Home Ridge Studio. Welcome to my channel. This video is part of the Just Our Imagination Challenge, which I will tell you about in a little bit. But before I do that, let's just go make something. Okay, here's the first challenge, and we are to use plastic bowls. I use six of them. And I apologize ahead of time. I do have a head cold brewing right now, so excuse my voice. But anyway, I got these two large plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree and this little uh, cardboard container from the Dollar Tree. I have some rope also from the DT. And I have this Krylon uh, paint and primer, and it's called Satin Almond. And so I glued these two pieces together. I started with E6000 and, and then I realized that it was dried out. I don't know how that happens to me all the time, but um, yep, so I got my trusty Gorilla Glue out and I put it around the edge and actually this was a little bit cleaner than the E6000 because it's not as, you know, like uh, it's not as thick like the gel. And so then where I didn't put the Gorilla Glue, I did put hot glue and that is for the quick hold and then the other one is for the temporary hold or permanent hold I should say oh my <laughs> um, anyway I glued them together and now I'm taking rope and I'm gonna put it around the whole perimeter to hide that um, ridge between the two bowls and now I'm gonna take the rope and this is going to be the stem obviously the little container here i'm going to take the rope and i'm going to run it up the side of the stem so that's why i put that in the middle and then i'm just going to take it and run it all the way down the side and with hot glue and then i'm going to and i'm measuring it that's why i keep putting that up there and then i'm going to run the rope right over the other rope around the perimeter and i'm going to hot glue it all the way down to the bottom and then I did that to the other side and then I did that in between them so there's four evenly spaced pieces of rope going down kind of like this is the grooves of the pumpkin even though I know it probably looks like a buoy right now but we'll fix that it won't look like a buoy in the end and yeah so each of these rope pieces are um, at the top of that little um, cardboard box Okay, so now I'm just unraveling these. And then I go outside and I spray paint it with that spray paint, two good coats, and then let it dry for several hours. And while that is drying, and yeah, I spray painted right over the rope and everything. So while that was drying, I just took this piece here and I just have brown acrylic paint. And I put two good coats on that just the top and the sides, not on the inside, because we're gonna glue that down. Okay, and so now I take the same brown acrylic and I just go ahead and paint over the rope, all of it. Um, even the little pieces on top, around the perimeter and the bottom and the sides. And that's what it looks like and now I'm going to glue the stem onto the top of the pumpkin and now I'm going to glue the rope I'm going to get just give it some extra reinforcement but then I'm going to glue it going up and down and sideways and all over not straight up not in any one particular direction I'm just gluing and I don't know what these things are called I know the stem is called the peduncle I guess but I don't know what these are <laughs> just I don't know <laughs> I don't think I've ever even talked about one of these before until now 
But anyway, if you know, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, after that's all done and those are all glued, I went ahead and got the uh, plaster chalk paint and I'm just making like little lines here to give the stem more character. And now I'm taking the brown acrylic again. I'm going to distress the entire pumpkin. And I did take the brown acrylic and I painted the top pieces up there too. I painted all of the rope in the brown. Not super dark, but you know, just to give it some distinction, I guess. And yeah, I just uh, went ahead and distressed this and um, I used a wet baby wipe. It's probably not the best thing to use because this is on plastic and when you wipe it it looks like it's wet like when you wipe a counter when it's wet and it leaves those lines in there those streaky like little bubbles and lines <laughs> that's what happens so I got a paper towel a dry paper towel and I just blotted it and kind of smeared it in and I have these uh, pit berries not pit berries they're just berries picks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing a couple of those on around the top and I have these full leather leaves and those are also from the Dollar Tree I think this whole piece is from the Dollar Tree obviously except for the paints and the glues And now I have some raffia, and this beautiful raffia came from Hobby Lobby. Oh, yep, that's not Dollar Tree either, but Dollar Tree does sell raffia. Um, I just like this brown color. Um, in the Hobby Lobby, it was like, I don't know, a couple dollars or something. They have brown, um, orange, and yellow, and I've been using this a lot in my projects. So I just took a big bunch of raffia, cut it, then tied it in the middle, and I want this to look just really messy. Just like when you go to the pumpkin patch and you see those pumpkins, they're just messy looking. And so I just glued it right on top. And now I have some pit berries because I really didn't like that rope there in the middle. And so I wanted to kind of hide it a little bit, but also decorate it. And so I poked the end of the pit berry into the um, rope there and then um, I just started using the clips so wherever the pit berries touch the rope I would put the clip before that or I put the clip down and then I would hot glue where the pit berry touched so I did that all the way around and I made it kind of wavy too just to give it some character And then when I clipped it off, I tucked it right into that rope so it's not pokey. And now I have one of these burlap flowers from the Dollar Tree, and I glued it on there. Okay, so now I'm going to make two more. I know we're only supposed to use one plastic bowl, but I literally had these in my stash. Not the big ones, but these smaller ones. So I thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to try some different pumpkin ideas. So the same thing, I just glued it with Gorilla Glue and hot glue. And it's kind of hard, but try to get them as even before you stick them down together. And this one wasn't super even. I have to cover it up and you'll see what I do in a little bit. But uh, I stuck them together. And like I really couldn't get them apart that hot glue just really really held it well so I painted that middle one in this I don't know how to pronounce it it's like iron lock or I R O N L A K it's acrylic spray and the color is called two cents <laughs> I thought that fit it perfectly and then you pr and then after you spray paint you want to protect it and I just put that uh, poly acrylic and that is from Krylon and or it's a uh, min wax yeah min wax polyacrylic and it's a protective finish and yeah so now 
I just glued the uh, two stems together. Those are from the Dollar Tree. P uh, glued it on top of the pumpkin. And now I'm taking these picks from the Dollar Tree, the leaves, the berries, and the squash. And I'm just gluing them all around the top there. Perhaps one of my favorite colors is this copper. I love copper, especially in the fall. And so I was just itching to make something with <laughs> this spray paint. I did a project last fall with uh, spray painted a lot of copper things. And speaking of copper, I have this ribbon and it's, I got a big pack from Michaels like last year and it's brown and it has a little bit of copper intertwined in it. And then I made a shoelace bow and I glued it on top. And then this is Krylon Crackle. <laughs> it's a two-step process. I just grabbed it. I didn't read it. I wanted to crackle it and uh, I spray painted it. And then I realized that was the second step. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, can't fix that. We're just going to live with it. So I went in another direction. So I have this bird from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you guys recognize it. I want to make this a blackbird, so I'm painting it all in black. The stand I painted in brown, the acrylic brown, and the beak I painted in brown too. And then I'm just, just gluing it right on the top there, uh, kind of more on the side so I can add some stuff. So the little straw ba bales are from the Dollar Tree as well as this little pumpkin. And I have this little corn also from the Dollar Tree. I think that's from the Dollar Tree. If not, it's from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, but I got those last year. And now I'm just putting some Spanish moss in there. And you know, my Dollar Tree does not sell the Spanish moss anymore, so I have to get it elsewhere, and it's kind of pricey. Um, but uh, does your Dollar Tree still sell this? Because I haven't seen it in at least a year, at least. But I bought a big bag from Michael's and I waited so I could use my coupon with it. Because, yeah, it's like, I want to say like $8.99 or something. And I want to hide that ridge. So I just take um, these pieces they were off of a stem that I used earlier and on one of my pumpkins and I just glued those together And I have another pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna just jazz it up a little bit cut those little plastic pieces off so they stick better and I'm gonna put the three flowers right on the side there and I wanted to add a little bit more greenery kind of up by the crow and so I'm just clipping this stem here all apart and gluing it here and there little pieces just to balance it out and to give it more interest. Okay, and here are all three of the pieces together. Let me know which one you like the best. I don't know. I like them all because they're all very, very different. But if I had to pick one, probably the copper one because, as like I told you earlier, I love copper. In this collaboration, or should I call it a challenge, because we're assigned some very special pieces to craft with. The hosts and the guest hosts choose 
one item each for all of us to create something using these special pieces. Our challenge items this month are a plastic bowl, a tin cookie sheet, and to recreate one of Kathy Joe's from Kathy Joe DIY projects because it's her birthday month, yay! So I put her channel link in my description box below so you can pop over there and show her some love, wish her a happy birthday. Also, I would like to thank all of the hosts, Kathy, um, Joe, and Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, and this month's guest host, Cindy from Z9 Designs. All their channel links are posted in my description box, so you can go check out their channels as well as the playlist for a bunch of creativity, inspiration, and ideas. And so here is Kathy Joe's recreation. <laughs> the first picture was her, um, her piece. The second picture is my piece and here's what I used. It's just slightly different, so we're supposed to recreate something with kind of a twist. And so I have the calendar piece, I have um, this burlap that I got from Hobby Lobby, it's brown, um, the pumpkin, and some ribbon, and some picks, but I don't believe I used the picks on this one. I don't know why I pulled those out. No, I did, I just used a flower. I have that bowl because you know I use my stuff <laughs> from my cupboards all the time and that's just to measure um, and the pit berries I have too. So anyway, I'm using the back. You can put craft paper on the front. I just really didn't feel like peeling the paper off and all that so <laughs> I just used the back of it. And now I'm just cutting. I measured with that bowl because that's a plastic bowl that was in my cupboard and it was the perfect size and I do not have a um, a compass. Is that what they're called? No, I forget what they're called. But you know, with like the pin and then you can draw a circle with them. I have one, but it's completely broken. So I gotta go to the Dollar Tree and pick up one of those. But anyway, just for now, the bowl worked. And I just measured it and cut out the circle. And by the way, um, I just want to pop in here real quick and take this moment and thank all of my wonderful subscribers and I want you to know truly how much I appreciate you, all your support, your comments, your likes and your shares. And if you're not a subscriber, welcome to my channel. Won't you please hit that subscription button and the notification bell and join my Homeridge Studio family. It helps me out a ton, plus you will be notified every time I post a new video. Okay, so now after I glued that piece on and I used my little roller brayer there um, to push out all the bubbles, now I am taking that burlap. Now Kathy Jo put um, her round piece on her calendar on a round piece. I didn't have a round piece, like a, um, I think it was a wood piece. I didn't have one. And she also put burlap first down on the entire pumpkin but I didn't have that <laughs> so I had this little brown burlap so I had to piece mine together by just measuring and cutting out on the side so I did it on both sides and the top of the pumpkin and I put a ton of Mod Podge down first and on top of that as you can see it's not dry <laughs> and I'm continuing to work here now I have the pit beads the pit beads <laughs> the pit garland uh, I don't know anyway I am just gluing it around two times and I took a bow I made a bow just a fan, just a simple bow when I put it on the front and I don't know what happened to that part of the footage I probably deleted it or something and I don't know this <laughs> sinus cold is just getting in my brain I think <laughs> but anyway I just made a hanger again here's Kathy's DIY it's probably a lot nicer than mine, <laughs> but it was a great idea. And here's mine. You can see I put a bow on the bottom with a little flower on it. And here's a close-up of mine. So, sorry, Kathy Jo. Um, <laughs> I didn't do you justice. Your piece, I think, is a lot better than mine, but I thought it was a really cool piece. And, and happy birthday, Kathy Jo. I hope you had a great one. Okay, so this, the other one was a cookie sheet, the other piece that we're supposed to use. These are from the Dollar Tree. You get a pack of two for a dollar twenty-five, and they're pretty flimsy. I have three of these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I have some ribbon 
from Michael's. I used that earlier. I love this stuff. Wait till a coupon comes out and use get those. Those are you can use them on so many things. They're so beautiful. I have a plaster chalk paint, and I have these two garlands, one with the leaves and one with a pumpkin and some jute twine. So I'm removing the stickers from the back because we're going to use the back as the back, and I don't want that sticker to show. And then I removed all the raffia on it. And now I'm just going to paint all of these with probably two coats. Now when you're working with this, be very careful. Um, it is flimsy, but it is also aluminum tin, and it is very sharp. I did not use gloves. I went really slow. This video is sped up. Um, I do have some tin snips there. Those were my husband's. I'm like, hey. <laughs> He's like, yeah, go ahead. You use all my tools. <laughs> so anyway, I'm clipping these. But um, back to what I was going to say, wear gloves. I did not thankfully cut myself. I went really, really slow and I was very, very careful before I just went and, you know, slapped it all together, cut it all out. Um, yeah, I just, I was afraid I was going to cut myself because I am accident prone sometimes. And so, yeah, I just, uh, like I said, I put the, or I didn't tell you, I put the pumpkin on top and I just traced it with a pencil because it leaves an indentation. And now um, I'm showing you this again because you're going to want to do this with each pumpkin, not just cut three out because the Dollar Tree pumpkins can be different sizes ever so slightly. So when I traced it, when I was done cutting it, I put it on top of the pumpkin that I traced. I hope that makes sense. So I would know that what the top is, what the bottom is, and each pumpkin was, you know, done separately. So I cut three of those out, and then I cut strips of the tin here. And this wasn't too, too sharp this little piece and I just wrapped them around pencil and made little curly cues I think three or four each so probably like 12 of them and so now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to glue the tin and I put uh, some Gorilla Glue on the tin too and the tin gets really hot when you put hot glue on it so don't touch it and I wrapped it 15 times to be exact I counted for you guys and um, yeah I'm just going to tie it off in the back there and then I hot glue it in the back and now I take one of these little metal pieces here the leaves I glue I did this to all three of them and I glued one or two leaves on each and then I glued a pumpkin on one and then I put those little tin pieces those little curly cues I had glued those on top and then now I'm just going to take a little piece of ribbon and I'm gonna glue one on top and one on the bottom around the side and only on the two leaf uh, pumpkins not on the the pumpkin pumpkin <laughs> the pumpkin pumpkin anyway this is what they look like I love these <laughs> I think they're really really cool they turned out better than what I thought they were going to and yeah so I want to thank you for hanging out with me today I hope I've given you some great ideas and inspiration don't forget to like and subscribe also check out the playlist and check out the host channels and don't forget to say hey kathy joe happy birthday and i will be back very very soon you have a blessed day bye